Hey everyone, it's ChrisLeeAdactivGames.com here, and today we're going to go and look for a fan to fix my computer. Okay, hey guys, uh, okay, as always, after work, we're out running errands, doing our thing. Uh, Presley's computer's been having some problems lately, and uh, shutting down, so I started playing with that a little bit this afternoon. And it looks like it's overheating, um, so the CPU fan's not kind of doing its job. So we're going to get a new CPU fan, get a new, get some new uh, thermal paste, and uh, go home and put our computer back together and see if we can't uh, get it cooling off a little bit. So my computer has been crashing a lot, and it's like you have run into an air all the time. I thought I was just running too many things at once, even though I was only running like two. But um, turns out it was just overheating. But so, but yeah, I'm glad we found out what was wrong with my computer and how we can fix it. Um, so I can do more stuff on it without it crashing a bunch. So I'm going to try a look for maybe some other fans than this this orange one, one and uh, all the lace. So let's go ahead and look on the other aisle. So, as you know, I'm four, and I'm kind of getting around to watching Cookie Saucy, and Nami, Nami is my favorite character to watch. I just name him Nami for a reason, and it's also, it's actually Nani Dose. I like him, and I'm getting to watch Cookie Saucy. I, I maybe ascribe to her two times. Okay, so, uh, got a cooling fan for the CPU. Cooper's got her thermal paste. Cooper, can you show us the thermal paste? Uh-huh. There we go. So we've got thermal paste to put it on with, so let's uh, let's go buy some stuff and uh, get home and uh, see if we can cool this thing off and make it work better. Yeah. Okay, so we got the, uh, we've had this piece of rawhide, some nice leather that we're gonna make Presley's pouches for her squirrel girl belt out of eventually. Um, eventually. But uh, I need to make a belt for her shoulder cosplay for us to take over to London. And so uh, I thought rather than buying one, I'd, I'd make one because I want to learn to do more leather work and we want to make as much as we can in our cosplays. And so uh, I went and I bought this cool little guy. And this is a, a strap cutter for leather. So there's just a little razor blade in, in here. And you can you know tighten and loosen and set how wide you want your strap to be. Um, and so this one I'm cutting about one inch strap for Presley's waist, it works pretty well. And then all you have to do is you use the handle here to make it nice and flat. Mm. So you see how that sits on there, Poochon? Yeah. And then you kind of slide this through. And as you slide it through, it'll start cutting. See how it's Ooh. cutting that one inch strip? So you cut a nice one inch strip of leather. Pretty nice. I'm actually going to clean this side up. I cut the other side with a, a, the little roller, a rolling cutter, and it didn't do nearly as nice a job. So I think I'm going to run back down it, uh, run this back through the cutter, and cut it a little bit thinner. Come here, stand up, put right here. On the back. That should make a nice belt that will fit her. I've got little rings and stuff to make like a rivet belt so that. Uh, so do it this way. Do the ring. Try to tuck. Like that. But tighter though, and then her yeah. gun will hang on it. And we bought some leather dye and some things to do the but this weekend we'll do the rest of it and sort of do the punches and stuff. But I just wanted to show the I need to get this off the table so I can work on her computer. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to show how we do the, the leather cut. Because I think it's actually a pretty cool little tool and you know makes a really nice uh, even piece. Okay, so I think what's happening is I think you're either the fan's not working the way that it needs to be on your old heat sink, or it may have just become decoupled, like the the thermal paste may have broken loose or something. Um, so I, I don't know, I'm just gonna go and replace the heat sink and put a bigger heat sink in there just to be safe, okay? So here's your old one. I pop the screws loose here. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. It uh I mean, the fan was spinning, it's a little dirty, but it's not horrible. But it's a pretty, this is a pretty small little thing, right? So we're gonna put a big, huge, new thing on here. So you can see this stuff here, Poochan? So this is thermal paste, the gray stuff that's on there. Uh -huh. So you put that on and it makes, so here's your new heat sink. This metal surface yeah. on your heat sink 
and your processor like join together and pass heat back and forth really efficiently because really all you're doing is how does heat flow does it flow from cold things to hot things or hot things to cold things it flows from hot things to cold things hot things to cold things so the cpu gets really hot <laughs> and this stays cool and so all the heat from your cpu is flowing into here mm -hmm. and it's coming up into like all of this surface area has to absorb all of that heat yeah. and then your fans are blowing and they cool these things off and it just keeps doing that it keeps leaching the heat off the cpu into these fans right and so you want the heat to be able to transfer from the processor into this heat sink really efficiently and so if they're just these two metal surfaces that are kind of touching each other it'll flow somewhat right but if you put this paste in between them it makes them like it's one piece of metal and so the heat flows more seamlessly right um and so what we need to do first is get this old paste off of the cpu so that we can uh, get good paste on the new one so a little paper towel just to see if any of it's still pasty or if it's all dried up it looks pretty dried up Let's see how much is coming off and so what you can use to turn it back into paste is alcohol. Yeah, the most useful thing for removing anything. It's pretty useful. And so alcohol, no it uh it also evaporates really quickly, so it's pretty safe to use on some of your computer parts, but you want to keep it pretty dry. You don't want much on there at all. And then you just want to go in and start working. You can see. We got all the thermal paste off of here, right? It's nice and clean and ready for more thermal paste and a new heat big. sink. A big heat sink. This one has got like crazy instructions for all the stuff that you have to do to put this thing together. So we're gonna go through and put this thing together and see if we can't uh, uh, get it set up on here. So we put the post on the back, for a little backing plate on the back side of the motherboard. And then these screws poke through and they've got these little spacers that keep it from hitting any of the components around here, right? And now the heat sink should sit. Well, actually, there's a couple little uh, Things. brackets that'll kind of go like this. That'll hold it on like that. And then that's what the uh, actual heat sink is going to screw onto. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's get a couple more steps. Come back and check the we're at. Yeah. So a little new thermal paste. Squeeze a little bit out on here. We have this cool little Thingy. applicator. It's like making a sandwich. Now I want to eat a sandwich. Oh. Okay, so there's the big heat sink piece in. You can see how much bigger that is than what was in there before. This is what was on there before. <laughs> so that's pretty substantial. And then this thing also comes with dual fans. So we can definitely overclock this and then put a little bit more heat through the thing. And then uh, when I upgrade, we're going to put a new motherboard and a new CPU in here before too long. When I do that upgrade, uh, I'll be able to bring this heat sink along. So I went ahead and bought one that I figured would work with the new stuff as well. And then that's going to jack into my uh, power for the fan. And it's even got a little control knob for the speed of the fan. But let's get these fans on here and then we'll be about ready to fire it up and see how that works. Yeah. So uh, we got it in. Yay. You can see the CPU temperatures here. They run right around 30 degrees Celsius, which is kind of exactly where you want it to be when it's kind of idling and kind of chilling out. Um, so that's actually pretty good. It's like going down to the 20s, um, which is pretty good. I'm actually pretty comfortable with that. Uh, so we'll let it uh, run that way for a little while and see if it stays cool and doesn't get hotter. And if it does, I'll let you get on here and kind of play some games or do something to kind of give the CPU a workout. And we'll see if it stays cool. Let and, me uh, test it. Exactly. Put a load on it. But for now, everything looks pretty good. I'll run all of the games now. Yes. So a uh, not exactly how I thought I'd be spending my evening <laughs> when I you know, came home today. But uh, it's how it went. It's how it went. Sometimes you just got to roll with the punches, right? Yeah. So. so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> not a bye over there.